Everybody has seen a Disney movie at least once in their life, whether it being a children's movie like Toy Story or a more violent film such as Pirates of the Caribbean. I mean, who hasn't heard of the famous Walt Disney? Most of the Disney's animated films are made for children, and we all know the saying, monkey see, monkey do. So with so many kids watching their movies, they really have to be careful of what they include in their movies, or for the most part, they have to be doing well at making them child friendly, letting them know that good always defeats evil. But sometimes things can be misinterpreted and taken differently than originally intended. That's what I'm here for, to inform you on certain details that you might have taken the wrong way. When Snow White woke up, she was surrounded by dwarfs all staring at her. I don't know about you, but I would have been terrified, and with good reason. If you wake up in an unknown location, surrounded by men you've never seen before, you should be afraid. Cinderella was abused by her stepmom and stepsisters, so I can only imagine how much she wanted to leave. But she didn't even know the prince before marrying him. That seems like lust more than love. And she eventually got her stepmother and stepsister to become her servants or slaves for her. So it really seemed like marrying a rich guy you barely know is a good thing. You marry a handsome man, you get a ton of moolah, and you even have those who wronged you on the knees before you. Seems like the perfect thing to teach a child. Imagine a place where you never age, a place where you never have to have parents, a place where you never have to land, yes, never land, as in the popular film Peter Pan. Imagine how great it would be if you woke up to a teenage boy over you, wait, no, what, no, not good. Waking up with a boy above you was never something you want to be happy with, especially when he offered to take you somewhere with no adult supervision. Uh, I don't know if this is the kind of thing you should be teaching to your kids. Sleeping Beauty is about a hidden princess that gets cursed that one day she would prick her finger and fall asleep forever. Well, at least until True Love's Kiss. But how can you get True Love's Kiss if you've never been even met a guy or girl that you'd be able to fall in love with? I mean, besides her fairy godmothers, but don't tell her that. And how awkward would it be to wake up with a guy's lips on yours that you've seen twice your entire life? And one of those times you were a mindless baby and don't even remember. I mean, she obviously didn't remember she was a princess, but what if you're the boy? If you see a girl sleeping, she might be cursed. It's best to kiss her to make sure, especially during nap time at preschool. Remember the beginning of The Little Mermaid when she was running the thingamabob or fork that was left at the bottom of the ocean through her hair? You know, fish and mermaids love to play with all trash and waste you throw into the ocean. Be sure to pollute for the fish. Continuing on with The Little Mermaid, imagine that you are Eric, walking along the beach when suddenly there's a naked and mute redhead in the sand. You don't know this woman. In fact, she could be a silent serial killer that wants to sneak into your house and stab you in your sleep. And what if you were Ariel? This guy wants to take you into his home and have you spend the night as you currently sit nude on the edge of a beach. Doesn't seem like the kind of person you'd want a room with, especially when you don't know his intentions. Beast was a normal man, until he crossed the wrong woman and got himself cursed and turned into an evil stuffed lion. But he knew how to fix it. All he had to do was kidnap someone until she loved him. Simple as that. Telling kids the best way to find love is through punishment and force against their will. Good job. Rapunzel was all alone, with nobody except for her mother and cute little Pascal. But her mother was super mean and abusive, so when she finally takes the chance to go with someone, she does. She does learn a little bit about him, but not enough to be sure. I mean, he's still dangerous, but I mean, I guess it makes sense. Teaching kids that if their mother is being bad, then you should run away with a dangerous man, because your mother is E-V-I-L.
There are many more examples of this kind of thing, so parents and guardians, make sure you know what your kids are watching.